Troy University's Hall School of Journalism and Communication and the University's Center for Student Success held a symposium Friday morning in the Shorter Center ballrooms. The speaker of this symposium was New York Times sports columnist William C. Roden. Well, I was invited to, uh, to speak as part of a seminar, uh, a money uh, sports and media seminar, and uh, the New York Times has a a good relationship with Troy. Keynote speaker William Roden covered editorial leadership in this morning symposium and how it affects the role of the media in influencing ethics and morality in sports. Well, my particular talk was about ethics and morality in sports and sports media and how the media, um, how the media, um, and, and particularly the editorial part of media, um, discusses, uh, discusses sports and and ethics and those kind of issues. Students who attended the symposium say that they enjoyed the speaker and found the lecture to be very informative concerning the world of journalism. Mr. Rowan did a great job talking about once you become a, a journalist, you're not just a, a fan of a specific team, but you're a fan of sports. You're a fan of writing and of sports journalism as a whole. He did a great job of letting us know what's going on in the sports world. I'm not a big sports fan, so I don't really follow what's happening in the sports world, so I really enjoy getting to hear what he said. I think for people who are inspiring to be writers, like me personally, who wants to be a sports writer, it's really nice to have somebody who's like in the field, who knows the kind of things, like have the experience, the 20 plus years, has seen the things that he's seen and done the things he's done, and have that kind of experience with us and just talk to him and get some kind of knowledge for that and learn from it. And what does Roden hope the students will gain from his lecture? I hope they took from uh, the idea just that part of our role as, as journalists is just to make people think. Uh, we don't have answers, we don't have all the answers, but we have a lot of questions.